Okay, so um, in the previous video we looked at how to translate um, an ad instruction and in this segment what we're going to do is look at um, translating um, a load word instruction. Um, so take a look at the previous video if you haven't. It shows how to translate an R-type instruction, the ad, which is an R-type. Um, and so now we're going to look at a load word and translate that to machine language and then um, um, and then from machine language um, so from assembly to machine language um, in terms of ones and zeros so a load word how do you translate it the first thing you're going to do is recognize you have one two three four different pieces of in encodable information there so if you were to go to the green sheet, um, you the first thing you need to do is start with the load word instruction and try to figure out what its opcode is. If I look at the green sheet, um, the opcode for a load word, let's see, these are in alphabetical order, so there's a load word, and let's scoot this over. So it looks like the opcode is 23. Notice that it's an immediate instruction. So those are the two things you want to make note of. That the opcode is 23 and that it's an, a type I instruction. So it's a 23. It's a type I instruction. And then also the second thing would be is to make note of uh, the register number. So you see you have register A3 and S3. If you go back to the green sheet, um, A3. So let's see. Each one of these registers of the you know of those 32 registers, each one has an associated number. A0 is a 4. A1 is a 5. A2 is a 6 and A3 is a 7. So this shows the starting and the ending. So A3 is the number 7. Hence a 7 here. S3. Let's see. S3. So since we have 0 for 16, 1 for 17, 2 for 18, 3 for 19. So S3 must be 19, register number 19. S3 is indeed 19. So knowing these um, 1, 2, 3, and finally 4 pieces of information, and also knowing that load word is an I type instruction, we know that we need to take those pieces of information and put them into this 6 bit here, 6 bit field for the opcode, RS and RT would each be five bits and then finally we have the signed immediate value so um, this negative five um, can is going to, to fit into these 16 bits here and we're going to make sure we extend the sign out to the full um, 16 bits um, so let's go ahead and drop in the opcode. What is the opcode? It's a hex 23. What is the immediate field? The immediate field is just a negative 5, so we need 16 bits to represent that. And then we have RS and RT. I know that the register who's getting clobbered generally is going to be RD or RT. There is no RD for the I format. So um, this should be register, um, it should be a 7 since that's going to indicate RT and that only leaves um, 19. So if I can write those 1, 2, 3, 4 um, things as bits, then I've done the conversion. Um, one other thing that is worth checking out, this is we're going to look at the um, register transfer logic for the load word. Um, sometimes that's going to be um, 
is something that you need to help you do the translation. So notice that the register transfer logic for that. Um, let's see if I can bring it up on my tablet. Um, what the register transfer logic says is that, let's see if I can write this. It says that uh, that we have RS, that our RS value, it is a number that's five bits, right? And it's zero through 31. So it's, we can only represent 32 values. And so those 32, va 32 values are essentially, you can think of them as an index to an array to select one of the 32 registers. So the RS value that we came up with before um, was a 19. So that 19 is selecting um, R sub 19. And when you take R sub 19 and select it, you're going to, now that we have the index into the array, we're going to pull out the value. And in this case, um, this 19, right, even though we're calling it register 19 here, what we're doing is using the address that is stored in register 19. So you can think about this as um, this register containing an address. Um, so we, this entire value here, R at R sub S, right, one of those 32 registers, we have his address plus or minus, right? We're going to add or subtract to that address so that we can reference a particular byte. And so if you think about memory also as being an array of bytes, um, this sign extended immediate added to this register um, is going to be a positive value. You can't use a negative index um, in an array and you won't be able to use a negative index to ref represent memory. So this value here is always going to be significantly larger than any value you add to it, this so-called offset. So we're going to have the base plus the offset. Um, and then those two values index into memory. So that's how you read the register transfer logic. R sub s, the base, plus the sign extended immediate value. Those two together. Um, are going to be used to go extract something out of memory. And that's how we've learned to interpret this um, type of setup for load word. So the register transfer logic also helps us here. So, um, The color coding makes this a little bit easier, I suppose, to see what's going on with the register transfer logic. Um, and so we can see that we're ultimately just trying to form an index into memory. And that's what uh, uh, the combination of these two do for us. Add them up together and you can think about them as indexing into memory to extract out one of the bytes in memory. Well, actually, it's one of the 32-bit values, and that's the starting byte. So let's continue on. Um, now that we have the register transfer logic, what can we do with this? Well, what we do know is that we need to put it box. So the hex 23 is pretty straightforward. Um, the hex 23, there's my 2. And then um, my three is this right here. So those are my six bits to get my hex 23. And then my 19, all right, these two values here are going to be five bit values. So my 19 looks like that. So that's a 16 and a three. My seven, again, using five, um, 
values. So my 7 is going to look like this. And then my negative 5 is going to be, um, I need to represent a negative 5 with 16 bits. I find it easier to um, just take maybe, let's say, 4 bits to represent a negative 5. And so that would be, let's see, a negative 8 plus negative plus a positive 3. That is a negative 5. And then, and I've only used 4 bits, but I need to sign, extend this out to 16 bits. So this ends up being, what is that? That's already 5 bits that I have there. So I need 11 more um, bits to sign, extend this out. So this would look something like um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, and then it would be 12, oops, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, so now that we have this 32-bit word, can you translate that 32-bit value into um, a hexadecimal um, value? So we could. Let's take our translation. I'll show it again here. And how do you turn this into a 32-bit value? What you do is you simply go through. And every four, one, two, three, four, so that looks like 1, 2, 4, 8. That's an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is um, 15 minus 1. So that's a 14. So I'll use an E for that. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is um, 6. This one is a 7. And then. Um, Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So if you look at this, F, 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 and then finally eight and three is an eleven. So it looks like the load word that we have is an eight E six seven F F F B. Um, and then you can always test your understanding by uh, plugging in the original um, load word instruction. So let's see if we can test that. What was the original load word value? It was a load word. A3, negative 5, S3. A3 and S3. So let's go and plug that in. Load word. A3. 5 and S3. Uh, let's look at how that translates. And if you look at this translation, it looks like it's an 8E67 3Fs in a B. And if we look at how we translate it, we did okay. It's an 80, 6, 7, 3 Fs, and a B. So that's how we do a translation with an I type instruction. Um, you should also certainly easily be able to do a, a sub instruction, so maybe I'll save that for a later video, but I want you to get some practice. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is how we encode um, branches through relative addressing. So that's a bit different. Um, so I'll save that for the next video.